Hi, I'm Coach Todd, head coach in OnlyMensTriathlon.com. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the upcoming weekend race that we have in Calgary. It's the Calgary 70.3. So I'm going to give you four tips that you can focus on that's going to make you have a really good race this weekend. Okay, let's start with number one. The number one tip I have right now is to know the course. So most of you, um, hopefully all of you know that the course has been changed. It has been changed dramatically. So we're now in a, a new lake. So make sure you arrive at the correct lake. Now when you're swimming, make sure you know where the course goes. So the direction, you want to keep your buoys on the right. You want to know where you're starting, where you're turning. And there is a little tunnel you have to swim through as well. It can be a little bit uh, unnerving at first to go through the tunnel. But what I did is I kind of, we swam the lake a couple of days ago just as a practice swim. And the best way that I got through it was to actually look through the, look for the light at the end of the tunnel. So I took 30 strokes, which takes about, about 100 meters. And what I would do instead of looking straight down and just seeing all the darkness is I've never, every now and then I would look up, see the light at the end of the tunnel and it would help uh, keep me focused and oriented where I was going and before you know it, I'm through the tunnel. And it's, it's, it's quite a ways into the race so there shouldn't be that many people around you as you go through. So just relax and then, and then swim through. Same thing on the bike, make sure you know where you're going. The bike course has changed. So if you are leading the race, you need to know where you're going. If you're at the back end of the race, you need to know where you're going as well. You just can't assume you're going to follow someone in front of you. I've seen it happen many times in a race where maybe one of the lead guys in the front comes flying through and the volunteers aren't ready for you and you just miss the turn and you're already down the road before they can pull you back. So know where you're going to have to turn. Okay, Let's go on to number two. Number two is nutrition. So what are you going to put in your body? What I like to do with this the day before is get a sheet of paper out and write down how I'm going to fuel my body for the whole race. So I'm going to start with breakfast. What am I going to have for breakfast? And then what am I going to have for, during the swim? Oh, that's right. I'm not going to have anything during the swim. I might have a couple mouthfuls of lake water, but hopefully not too much of that. And then on the bike, what am I going to have on the bike? I keep the bike nutrition pretty simple. Mine, what I do is I try to consume one bottle of whatever type of fluid I'm going to have per hour and then I'll take a gel. I'll take a gel every 30 or 40 minutes and I just keep cycling that until I'm done the bike. When I get to the run, same thing. I'm going to focus on drinking and eating and what I'm going to be drinking, I can't drink as much on the run as I do on the bike. So every time I come to an aid station, I'm going to drink. And I'm gonna, we're doing a half marathon, so I'll probably take in two or three gels at certain points in the, in the run. So make sure you know when you're going to take in your fuel. Write it down so you know what to do. The other thing you can do too is a lot of us get, we get in the heat of the moment, we get focused on racing, get focused on people around us, we actually forget to drink. So you might go through two hours and go, oh man, I've been so focused on uh, racing, I forgot to drink. So what you can do is you can use your watch and just set up a timer to beep every 30 or 35 minutes and that will help remind you to eat and drink. Okay, let's move on to tip number three. Tip number three is pacing. So you want to, what I recommend to most people when you're doing a race like this is at the swim, bike and run, you want to slowly, gradually build into your pace. Except for the swim. At the swim, because there's so many people around you, you probably want to swim a little quicker than normal just to get out of the crowd and get into uh, some clear water and then settle into your pace, but not too fast. You don't want to dig yourself a deep hole that you can't get out of. So again, on the swim, start off strong, but not too strong. Once you get onto the bike, same thing. Just get yourself settled in, get yourself settled into the rhythm. You're coming onto a road that has a lot of construction. So keep your eyes and wits about you and don't go too quick. All right. On the run, same thing. Gradually build your pace up to race pace. Take that first kilometer nice and easy. Get your legs back into the rhythm and then you'll know what to do. But on the pacing side, it's hard to know how fast you're going in the swim. You really have to go perceived effort. On the bike, we have a computer that shows our speed. Some of us have watts. We have heart rate. You can use all those things. But we've done a lot of training, so you know what you can do. Come up with a, a good target for you to hit. What's going to be the heart rate you're going to hold? What's the, going to be the speed you're going to hold? What kind of watts you're going to hold? All those things are important to know before the race. Same thing with the run. Use heart rate use pacing and use perceived effort. That will help you uh, get through the race and have a much better time. Okay, let's go on to the last tip, number four. 
Number four is, is one of the best tips to give you guys is really get out there and have fun. I hate to tell this to most of you, but you're not going to win the race. There's going to be one um, men's winner and one women winner. The rest of us, we're not going to win. So once you realize that I'm not going to win, then you can relax and you can actually have fun out there. Remember, you're not getting paid for this. This is not your job. You're out there just to be fit and healthy and have a good time. So remember that even if you do have a flat tire on the bike or something goes wrong, your stomach is upset, try to, try to put on a, a happy face the best you can and try to enjoy it because this really is all about fun. So get out there and have a good time. So these are four tips. Uh, they're great tips and uh, really take some time to think about this and this will help you have a really good race on Sunday. So this is Todd Malcolm from uh, NorlandesTriathlon.com saying happy training.